What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I had a lot of you guys reaching out and asking about my new hairstyle and how I would style it and what I'd call it. So this is what that video is. It's a hairstyling tutorial on how to get this modern mullet kind of quiff look. So I hope you enjoy it, but without further ado, let's get into the video. First thing we're gonna do is get our hair wet. A lot of guys go kind of damp. I like to actually get it nice and wet because it allows me to have a little bit more control over the styling process. It allows me to kind of like work with a nice fresh canvas. So a lot of times I'll do this right out of the shower, but we're just gonna get it nice and wet from the sink just for time's sake. Now that the hair's nice and wet, you can see it has a little bit of weight to it because of all the water in it. We're gonna go in with a towel, we're gonna towel dry it. You don't wanna be like rubbing around like crazy. It's more of a padding dry just to get a lot of that like extra moisture out, but it's still gonna have a lot of like weight in it. So when I go into blow dry it, I'm gonna be able to maneuver it a little bit easier. So just kind of go in, give it a nice little pat. You don't wanna go too aggressive here. Your hair is going to be its most fragile when it's wet. So just, you know, take that into consideration. You don't wanna be dragging and you don't wanna to be too aggressive, but just getting a little bit of that moisture out so you're ready to go. One thing that I always like to go over in these hairstyling routines is how to wash your hair. Do not be washing your hair every single night. Personally, I don't really wash my hair with shampoo more than maybe once, twice every two weeks. Uh, I definitely go in and I wash it with water every night and rinse out some product. But the more that you wash your hair, the more you're stripping away those oils and you're actually damaging your hair every single time you do that. So try not to wash it as much as you can, at least with shampoo. I think there's a big disconnect when guys say that we don't wash our hair every single night that you assume that we're not even like rinsing it out. We're just letting stuff build up in it. That's not the case. We're actually rinsing it out with water more than anything. And water does a lot. Just get in there, give it a nice little jostle, get it nice and wet, and just kind of get out as much product as you possibly can. Because your hair always looks best, I think, when you have a little bit of that, you know, second day hair going on. So just keep that in mind. And then once you're done rinsing it out, that's when I throw in conditioner. I put conditioner in every single day. I'll even do a little bit of a leave-in conditioner every single day, uh, or a little bit of hair oil, like what you're gonna see here in a couple couple of seconds. That just helps everything stay nice and hydrated, nice and healthy, because at the end of the day, a healthy head of hair is what we're going for. Before we do anything, before we start hair drying, I always like to go in with some kind of hair oil. This is a little argan oil. You don't need a lot of it, just like two or three little drops. And basically what this is gonna do is just protect the hair from the heat. Make sure that you coat your hair as much as possible, and we're basically ready to go. So starting off with our pre-styler, I've just been using sea salt spray recently. I've been using this one from Uppercut Deluxe. I really like it. No affiliation with them at all, no affiliation with any of the products in this video, but if you want any of these products, I'm gonna link them in the description below. So you're just gonna take this, about five sprays all the way around. It's just gonna give it a little bit of hold, a little bit of wave once I start to like blow dry it into place, which is what I really like. I like that waviness. So let's get in with our hair dryer now. And I'm using this one, it's the Jetliner from Stylecraft. I really like this hair dryer. I didn't think I was gonna like it as much as I did when I first got it, but it's extremely powerful and you know I have no complaints with it. I've used a lot of hair dryers and this is probably my favorite one. I'm gonna set it on the highest power setting, but about medium heat, and we're just gonna go through and we're gonna get everything dry and put into place. And what I'm going for here more than anything is just to give it shape. I'm not trying to really put it in its final place. I'm just trying to get it going in the right direction. As you can see, it's already taken a good amount of shape. This isn't the final shape. This is kind of just where I want it to go and this is where I want it to end up. What I'm gonna do now is I do have a little bit of wave in my hair and I do like to have that extra like texture and wave in the mullet part. So what I do is I throw the diffuser on and basically what this is gonna do is just enhance those waves and kind of give it a little bit more texture. And just kind of go around in a circular motion before you throw some product in. So as you can see, we added a good amount of volume and a good amount of texture, especially in the back areas, which is what we're really gonna kinda go for. We really wanna kinda get that teased out kind of like, you know, curliness going on in the back. Now we're gonna go on with some product. The products I'm gonna be using to style today are the Fat Boy Spray Putty, as well as, I believe this is the Stronghold Styling Paste from Eleven. Uh, both of these were recommended to me by my stylist and she used them the other day when I was getting my hair cut and I really liked them. I've never used them before. So these are both new products to me, but I really enjoyed them. Starting off with the spray putty, we're just gonna give this a little bit of a spray just to kind of give that light hold while we style it. Now we're just gonna work it in a little bit and you can already feel it taking hold. This stuff is putty, so it is going to set pretty quick. I might've used a little bit too much, but you know, just add a little bit of water if you added a little bit too much and you'll kind of get that softness to break it up and then you can continue styling. I'm not gonna really need that just because I feel like it's really coming into place. So don't be afraid if you put a little bit too much in, it's easily corrected, you don't have to start all over. Just throw a little water in there and maneuver it around. 
And when I do have a mullet going on, I do like to pinch the bottom of the back and kind of pull it up a little bit just to give it that little bit of a flow. This is clean hair. I did actually wash and shampoo last night, so it's a little dead. But as the week goes on and I let this kind of build up a little bit and I wear a couple of hats a couple of days, that's gonna start to roll over the back, which gives you that awesome mullet look. All right, now that we have a little bit of shape, we're gonna go in with the paste. You don't really need a lot of this. I normally just use a fingernails amount. That's plenty, even a little bit less than this might be okay. A big thing to remember is whenever you're using some kind of product, make sure that you really rub it into your hands and get it everywhere. I see so many guys that kind of just like do like a quick little thing and it's not spread out across their hands. And so they'll have like just chunks of product all throughout their hair, which isn't a good look. So give it a little bit of time, warm it up in your hands, get it between your fingers, get it everywhere. And then what I like to do is start in the back of my head, just in case I do have a little bit too much on one spot of my hand. I don't want that to be in the front of the hair. So starting in the back, just get it nice and deep into the roots. Get it all up on top. And now you have a nice little wave going on in the front. So that's pretty much it to be honest. Now it's just those fine little details. So I do have this little bit that's kind of sticking up on the side. What I'm gonna do is go in with a comb and just try to get those all kind of put together and pushed down a little bit. And if you have any problems, there's always different tools to go in. As you can see, it's not really laying flat the way I want it to with a wide tooth comb. So I'm gonna go in with a narrow tooth and just kind of get everything packed down. And now that it's packed down back there, now I'll go with my fingers to kind of separate it, give more of that natural look. There's really not a lot else I would do with this. Maybe putting a little bit more texture, just running my fingers through it, but that's naturally gonna happen throughout the day, just to give it that little bit of separation. As you can see, it's not shiny, it's not crazy. I don't like to use shiny products, I like matte finishes. There's no shine to this at all, and it gives it really nice structured hold. Like I said, I really like these two products. This Fat Boy Spray Putty surprised me, and the Stronghold Styling Paste definitely are recommended. I got all this stuff on Amazon, like I said, I'll link it below. So if you're looking for some awesome products, I would grab these two, it doesn't really matter what your hair type is. I have thicker hair and they both work super well, but you know, thinner hair, I'm sure this would work for you just as well. But yeah, that's basically it. This is my new hairstyle. It's kind of like a modern mullet, very, very subtle, not too crazy. It's just a good looking classic haircut. And I think it looks great. And I think this is gonna be my look for the time being, at least through summer. But I wanna know what your guys' thoughts are. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of the haircut. What would you call this? Would you call it like a modern mullet or where would you go with it? It's kind of like a quiff. But like I said, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. And then if you have any questions about this, have any questions about hair products, styling, if you have any questions at all about any of this, let me know. I'd be happy to talk to you, happy to answer you. If you're in Arizona, you're looking for a great stylist, go to Hannah at Cutthroat Barbershop in Scottsdale or go to any of the great barbers that are over there. They have an awesome team. But yeah, that's the haircut. I think it looks great. Until I see you again, stay confident. We'll talk soon. Peace.